Hi guys, Baz from Loop Masters here. Um, today I'm just going to show you a very quick tip in regards to importing a video and actually extracting the audio from that to edit uh, with your tracks. Um, this does need to be a quick time video for it to work, so if you have another type of video you'll need to convert it using the various different uh, converter softwares out there. But like you see, if I just drag this um, quick time video across into an audio channel, and you'll see that the audio actually is playing within the, the audio track. So let's look for a bit to, uh, to edit. So if we take all that out because there's just silence there. Delete that. Bring that across. You're buying the wrong matches. And let's just try and find uh, a loop. You're buying the wrong matches. What? Those matches. Yeah, let's take the uh, the buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong matches. What? Those matches. You're buying the wrong matches. See if we loop that up. You're buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong matches. Put the metronome on. You're buying the wrong matches. Obviously not in time at the, the moment. Um, so if we just go into that. Actually, if we split that first, con uh, control E. And then let's uh, let's look for. A You're loop. buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong matches. You're buying let's the just wrong. Let's try and get this a bit more in time. You're buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong matches. You're buying the wrong. So yeah, I mean it's not it's not perfectly in time, but this is just a quick tip. So obviously, um, you know, you can edit edit it further, uh, make sure it's uh, properly in time. Um, now for another example, um, just to kind of get effects and um, glitches and stuff like that. Red phosphorus. Red phosphorus is found. Red phosphorus. Red phosphorus. You can get some interesting effects there. Red phosphorus. And again, let's try and find a, a loop. Perhaps a nice, nice little effect. Let's try this one. So, yeah, you can see you could use these type of effects for breakdowns and transitions and stuff like that. Get some really interesting effects by time stretching it. So as you can see, you can get some really interesting effects um, to put in your productions. Uh, thanks for watching this quick tip again from Loop Masters.